everybody. Hello. We're so glad you came to Carol and Lisa and Amy's Boozy Planner Planner O Rama. <laughs> the Stickers dude. and liquor. Stickers, Stickers and, liquor. and liquor. All right. Fantastic. I am so excited about this, you guys. I had so much fun last time. It was awesome. I have some new stickers, which I'm very excited to break out tonight. So that's great. And also, I got that planner that Tamara had last time. Oh, that author planner one? Yes. Although mine does not have the pretty, like, it's interesting. I, haven't, I was saving it for tonight to kind of go through it. It does. Mine does not have the nice cover that hers has. Since, mine, since Tamara's not here, you have to talk about it. I will. I will. Well, she really liked it. I literally just got it. I will say it took a month to get here. So I'm not sure about that. All right. Let's say hi to every. Actually, before we do that, let's introduce ourselves. How about that? <laughs> How about you, Amy? Would you like to go first? Uh, yeah. Hello. I am Amy Awesome Buddy, aka the Gremlin Mancer. Um, I am an SEO consultant, and I too am a fan of Planoramas. So I'm here, and <laughs> and I can't share my screen or my face, you know, because I'm stubborn. But um, I can talk about one. stuff. You've got one that looks just like this. There we go. Thank you, Tafero, uh, for providing the visual aid. I don't have any of the junior aid. sizes yet. You don't have it. So, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have the what big ones. We have. <laughs> What? The letter size. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Thank that you one. for your <laughs> assisted visuals, Caro. All right, Here. hold on. We don't want to make Caro big so we can all oh, see okay. Amy's planner. There we go. Ta -da. Yep. Yay. This is awesome. Amy's fault. I didn't have any of these until Amy and Sky. <laughs> I see that. What does that say on your planner there, Caro? Oh, this What's happens. That? What that happens to be my company logo, yo. <laughs> Love it. Because didn't you just start a publishing company like this week? Yeah. Well, I technically started it four months ago. <laughs> well, picky picky. Didn't you just announce it like this yes, week? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah, I did yeah fact, like yesterday, as exactly. a matter of fact. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Well, I am super excited about that. We want to hear more about that. All right. So Amy, you're here, you're incognito, and we know what kind of planner you're using. Carol, uh -huh. would you like to say hello and introduce yourself? I would like to do that if Bones will let me. He's being, being bonesy. Uh, my name is Carol Brown. I am an urban fantasy author. I own this company right over here. I'm going to be actually working with my clever fox planner today. I'm trying to show them. <laughs> trying to show them, at least it's not on the ball. Hold on. I still can't figure it out. I clever fox. I was I was actually talking to Bones, but okay. Oh. <laughs> he was he was trying to get into the camera again. Um, and so I've got like the Pro 13 week version, and um, all I'm really doing in here is kind of coming in and fleshing out some of the the weekly objectives that I have to do, and uh, that's pretty much it. Because I've already filled this thing with stickers from last time. I just need to put in like all the needfuls. Ah, all right. Very good. Well, I'm Lisa Daly. Welcome, everybody. We're so glad you're here. I am working with my big, exciting life of Lisa Daly planner, which you may have noticed my October planner is very shy on the stickers. So I'm going to have to be really busy tonight. Let's say hello to the chat because we have so many people here tonight. Oh, bones. Look, we got to make him big. Hold on. Star of the show right there. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, I love that dog. Super cool. Oh, he's so sweet. Sakatubi's here. Sakatubi, you were the very first commenter. Yay, awesome. We are also looking forward to this. I'm so glad you made it. Athena is 75 minutes. You got here 75 <laughs> minutes early. I love you. That is so awesome. Woohoo. All right, Athena is maybe going to do Preptober bullet journal stuff while watching this. That is totally awesome. Tell us what you guys are planning on, what you're planning on planning. <laughs> I'm kind of, are you going to plan October? Are you going to do Preptober? You're going to just do your life? Or are you just going to drink? That could be us. I'm drinking mimosas tonight. Carol, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking some whiskey. I don't ask me the brand. It was what 
I have like a excuse you, do you see that? He was immediately like, no. Um, I have like a I have like a, a skull glass bottle in the kitchen and I don't know what brand it is. That's it could be so it could be Jameson, it could be bullet, it could be anything. I don't know what it is. It, it's whiskey. It, it sounds super cool though. All right, I'm excited about that, Athena. Devin's here. Hey Devin, we're so glad to see you. Yay. All right, Sarah says, yay, I've been waiting for this to set up next month in the bullet journal. Just got to eat dinner and I'll be ready to plan. Awesome. Woo. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm traumatizing my youngest by spamming her with cobalt blue tarantula pictures. I'm a bad mom. I don't Did know. You... <laughs> I don't know about that. Did you start drinking earlier? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome, so glad you made it. Right with Melanie's here. Hey, Melanie, we're so glad you made it tonight. I was going to write, but I guess I'll use the time to finish up setting my bullet journal for October. Hope you guys are doing well. I, okay, how am I saying this? Penumbra? Penumbra. Penumbra, Penumbra. thank you very much. You know, I'm bad at that. I've seen she, your name. I, she writes under MM Ward, though. That's and, and you know what? Talking about that. Hold on. Hold Nobody. on. Carol's got a book somewhere. I can't show things off if you're in the way. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. she got a book out, yo. What? Yeah. That's cool. Let's mm -hmm. see. Nice. Oh, I love the cover. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? Well, congratulations. Very nice. Okay. So she says she's picking a project for Nano tonight, three partially prepped, but can't decide which one to do and literally have a three-way tie when I ask. Uh, that's hard. How are you going to decide what method are you going to use? Maybe Caro can do a tarot card reading for you to tell you which one. I have to get up again. I feel very weird being the <laughs> sudden host of this show. Hello, how are you? I guess I, <laughs> I love that she looks right into the camera for that cue. Eye contact, audience members. That's right. So nice to see you all today. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all are the third book from three different trilogies. So you have people clamoring for every single one. Oh, my gosh. All right. Melanie says, if I were doing Millwardy, I'd suggest trying all three. Don't do that. It'd be torture. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea to make a list of what she likes about each one. That's good. And whichever one has the most items, work on that. I always think like work on the one that you're most excited about, but you're taking a vote. Is there any, were there any that you hoped would be like, was there one that you hoped would be the winner? I want, I wonder, how would you pick Carol? What I was going to work on. Yeah. If, um, you had three. if I had three, uh, well, ironically, I was actually in that situation because I had to decide on uh, what I wanted to finish first for Mel Wordy. Um, and so I finished the one that had the deadline first because that was a deadline. So I did that. And then uh, I ended up wanting, I ended up leaning towards trying to finish Cherry Blossoms, which is that romance novel that I'm restructuring. Mm -hmm. And I, I did that because um, for the too long didn't read version of that story is that I've got like every time I tried to write that story, like I had a family member pass away. And so like I've gotten to the point where it's like, I'm going to finish writing this. You won't <laughs> stop me. So I'd be like, I can't do it anymore. I would put that one in the drawer. I'm like, that book was not it meant was, to be. It was in the drawer for six months. And I was like, no, fate will not decide what I write. So that's Caro fashion. That, so. That's true. That's and really then true. the book I'm going to write after that is going to, the finish after that is going to be Ten of Brownies, which is like the next in the Ghost Walker Chronicles, because I should probably finish writing that series. Very nice. All right. Well, that's good. All right, here we go. Barbara is here. Hey, Barbara, how are you? We're so glad you made it tonight. Ta da! JD Marcellus says I should go get my notebook to make notes. Very good plan. Notebook achievement unlocked. Uh, that's good. Athena says hi. JD Marcellus says hi. Hello. The cover clover says. She is the cover clovers a he, she, or they? Let's say they. They are excited. It's a cute logo. I know. It's adorable, isn't it? I mm -hmm. love it. Love it. All right. Happy to be here for my second planner event with you. We are happy, too. So if you guys weren't here last time, this got to be a little bit crazy. 
It was super fun. We had a really good time and we got a lot of planning done. So that was nice. All right. Athena wants to know if Carol's drinking, make sure she has a chair that won't tip easily. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> There's just two uh, fingers in here, friends. There's just two fingers. That's we'll be, it. We'll we're, okay. we're all going to behave ourselves, kind of. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. All right. I've recently acquired stickers with my three-month Fox planner. Ooh, yeah. that is nice. That's really good. Did anybody get any stickers from, like, last time that they were excited about? Oh, no, I got the same stickers as last time. Um, I got a different planner because uh, I needed some extra pages for one of my disbounds. Yeah. And it, it came with, like, these cute little gold ones. And I was like, maybe I can use those for something. And I was like, I don't know what, but at least I have them. Those are super cute. I got some. Oh, I have to see if I – ooh, are they out of my thing? I got some really cute word count. They're, like, these little um, – Ooh, where did I put them? I don't know. I'll have to find them. Uh, they're these little like typewriters, and on the paper is where you would write your word count for the day. They're super awesome. And I will track them down. They're somewhere in my big pile of stickers. This is what happens when you get too many stickers. All right. Okay, Judy says, oh, you mean this isn't the first planner video? No, this is the second one. It was... Um, wild and fun and we had a great time right with melanie says we had one just like this last month it was pretty uh whoa okay so oh, that's when that's when robert had to learn about why people use stickers to write on because he tried to use one of his pens and it was like no robert we were like right. no, this is I know Robert is stuck grocery shopping tonight, so he is not, he's probably not going to make that, make it. But um all right, here we go. I have to go check it out. Notebook and purple notebook, pen, check, stickers and liquor, check. What are you guys drinking tonight? I want to know. All right. Let us know in the chat. One minute. Hey, everybody. Oh, gosh. I just got to the start. Hey, Colin. We're so glad you're here tonight. Hello. It's in England. New stickers. So you're here really late. Thank you so much. Wait, I have no one to live. <sighs> you're killing me. <laughs> Hey, Fats, we're so glad you made it tonight. You heard correctly, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for being here. We're very glad to da. Here, we'll take a little. Uh. I did like more orange juice in my mimosa because I was not going to bring the orange juice in here, just the Prosecco. <laughs> so, so my mimosas will get progressively stronger. I just have to keep topping them off. So. Oh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? All right. Oh, I have that one, but it's not spiraled. But so, ah, good. That's pretty cool. All right. Savvy's here. I'll probably do my planner tomorrow since I'm not feeling great. Oh, I'm so sorry, Savvy. But I wanted to hit, uh, stop by, say hi, leave a like, smash the like button. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I hope you feel better, Savvy. That sucks. Everybody's here. Sarah's here. Hey, Sarah. I wondered if, oh, yeah, yeah, Tamara's planner. That's what we're calling it now. Tamara's author planner. There is a spiral bound one, but it doesn't have a very pretty cover. I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm not a fan. I do like the spiral bound, though, because I like them to open flat. Hmm. Yeah. Clever Fox does open flat as well. That's what I like. They made it really clear. Like we have to make sure these open flat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, otherwise it's just a giant pain in the neck. I love it. You'll have to showcase the spiral. I will. I'll do it right now. Ready? That's probably not what you meant. I'm going to go through. I literally just got this delivered. And so I only know what I know about it is what um, Tamara told us last time. So, all right. LR is only here for a short, but a short bit. Have a backyard fire pit date with the hubs. Oh, oh those are best. We're a fire pit family in my family. Jacqueline says, "Who downvoted this?" <laughs> Thank you. I was I went over that um, when I went to go get the um, the link to post on like Twitter and Facebook. I saw it like it was way before we even started. I'm like, who downloaded us? We're not even live yet. All right. Hey, Carrie, we're so glad you made it today. I see a happy planner. Aren't we she all? Be, aren't I we all happy planners? Oh, she's there's a brand of, of Disbound, and they're called Happy Planners. Yeah. These are not my happy planners, though. No, you have clever fox. I have okay. a, I have, I have my little DIY. What else do you have? I have tool. So T U L. 
So I have tool, and I'm all I'm still a big proponent of just three ring binders. Like nothing to me beats just three ring binders because they're so accessible, and you can, you know, print and do whatever you want. I tried something new this, or this month. You can keep your stickers in them. <gasps> yes. Yeah. I yeah. tried something new this month, and I got a traveler's notebook. Ooh, that seems fancy. I thought we could talk about it when we got done saying hi to everybody. All right, let's do that. Athena says, yay, company logo. Congratulations, Carol. Love the Raptor stickers. They're adorable. They are super, super adorable. Yay, Bones. We just want to see Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Raptor. <sighs> Love that. Love that. I, will, I do want to say that the little raptor idea, that was actually Amy's idea. I love <laughs> that. I thought that was so cute. We I'm were, glad she liked the idea too. We were in the middle of a meeting and she was like, what if we had raptor caricatures of everyone? And I was like, that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Totally. If you're all totally interested amazing. in getting a better look at the little raptor stickers, you can check out her website, madraptorproductions.com. There's raptors on the team page where you can meet the staff of Mad Raptor Productions. And there's also authors with raptor. Yes. Mr. Brown came up with the cutest name for them, though. It might have been my idea, but he came up with the best name. He called them, let me say this right, Raptorvitars. Yes, he did. And I was like, <laughs> I love it. So that's what I've been calling them ever since. Oh, I love that. You know what? That would be easier if Carol would throw a link in the chat. Could you do that, Carol? Are you, telling, are you telling me what to do? No, I'm just making a helpful suggestion. Yeah. All right. Spence saved planning from this morning for this evening for this. Woo! At some point, the mini Spence have to go to bed, but that'll be a good stretch break. All right. Good job. Eating, but hello, hello, Twitch Fixer. Bones wants booze. <laughs> All right, Carrie's writing tonight. I did a lot of planning at work last night. Well, we're so glad you made it, Carrie. Super, super glad. Mr. Brown is here. Hello, Kirkland that's, Irish whiskey. That's apparently what I'm drinking. Okay. Yeah, I figured that would. All right, Melanie says, I have no alcohol at the moment. Super sad, so I'm switching between Pepsi and water. I'm going to have a drink just for you, honey. There you go. Cool. It's okay. I don't have any liquor in the house. So in the spirit of self-care, self-indulgence, I am eating eggless cookie dough. <gasps> so, so salute to everybody who's not <laughs> inviting. That's mother. right. You're, you're our designated co-host. That's what it is. That's right. That's right. Designated streamer. Designated <laughs> streamer. <laughs> Melanie too. Melanie, you get to be a designated streamer also. Just make sure we don't go off the rails, okay? All right. So uh, Cover Clovers is working on nano prep. I worked on my current novel through the day, so now I'm focusing on side project for November. Awesome. Mr. Brown says we have a skull decanter because skulls. skulls. I think that sounds super, super cool. MM Ward doing Preptober, but still have to pick the project. Drinking, I can't say this, Lenning. Lenin glues berry weiss with honey. That sounds really delicious. I was about to say, I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. It sounds really good. Just mama or mm, you got it. I'll forget in five minutes. Kara will remind me though. I got you. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, pretty. I have yet to meet any of my goals I've set for myself since June. I don't know why I'm bothering other than I'm anxious, Virgo. You know what? It's like it's really hard right now. Everything is kind of crazy and chaotic. And I always bring this up. Carol has like the best advice, which is that you should plan like you're about to have the flu. And so, right. And so just like take it down a little bit, have some, you know, give yourself a break because we're all doing the best we can right now. And mm -hmm. stickers, stickers. Right? Stickers. We're just going to do the best we can. And if you don't make it this week, this month, then you'll make it next month or the month after that. We just got to keep trying and keep pushing. All right. What? That is a gorgeous book. Very nice. Very nice. It was. It's a really beautiful. There it is again. Very beautiful cover. Love that. Love it. Carol Brown, you are the best. Very true. 
I try. I may or may not have just plugged the stream on my Insta. Lisa. Thank you, Aww, Melanie. Thank you. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I took a goofy picture today with like a bunch of stickers. Like, because I was so excited about tonight. All right. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Always draw the cups in tarot. What does that mean, Carol? When you draw the uh, cups. When you draw cups in tarot, that usually has to do with like emotions and feelings and all the stuff that comes in here. Ironically, I am not a cups fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like every now and then, like Amy and I will share readings and she'll be like, I see some cups in there. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> no feelings here in tarot land. No, no, no. No, not for you. I can't believe that. All right. All right. So Athena says all my stuff's on the other side of the room, moving my desk around tomorrow. I had to get all the crap out of it. I have the same thing. I have I went from having like a big office with a lot of storage to a small office with not very much storage, although it has a nicer view. And I always feel like I'm like not as organized as I would like to be. All right. I have an office book bag. I call it my portable office where mm -hmm. like um, after I graduated, I was still carrying around like I immediately went into a writing job. And so I uh, kept all of my school stuff in my book bag, basically. And here I am like cough, cough years later. <laughs> and um, I still have I, I call it my portable office, but I have a book bag set up underneath my desk. And it has all my extra office supplies in it because I only have one little drawer on my desk. I got plenty of surface area, but just one little shallow drawer and it breaks my heart. And um, so I've got everything, everything that you keep in an office, I keep in a book bag stuck up underneath my desk. I do not have any room left under my desk because I have recently acquired a treadmill. Yes. Oh, I thought right. you looked like you were a little wobbly in somebody's stream the other day. Yeah, and I was Mara's, like, I was she like, must have set it up already. I did. I had, well, I was kind of uh, making it like uh, sort of jerry rigging it, um, which is what we always say because my Aunt Jerry can fix or make anything. And so, yeah, anyway. So, um, so I have like boxes because I had, it was, it came early. It came like a week and a half early. So I was not prepared with the desk riser, and, but I kind of love it so far. It's only been like four days, but I love it. And I think I'm going to have to figure out how to like, where to put my regular desk and get like a small, like actual standing desk. So I don't have to keep moving stuff back and forth. Hmm. So yay. All right. Wait, hold on. I wanted to say this. Um, Melanie said, she rearranged her entire office, including the bookshelf. Today, I moved the bedroom around. Yay, pent up energy. Yes. Will you please come to my house? I have some stuff I need to organize. Yeah, moving anything in this office, so it, like, just kind of puts me in, like a state of like. <sighs> I love to like put everything where it belongs, but I will say you totally um, convinced me to do the treadmill between yeah. you and um, Jules. The, Jules, the rat, Jewel, the rapid release girl. Yeah. You guys are brave you. souls. A treadmill yeah. while I work at my desk sounds like the worst. I it, hate it so much. I really love to walk. I am shocked at how, like, I did like three hours the first day and I was very afraid I had overdone it. But no, I really like it. And I'm sleeping great. So there's that. It's a band. Oh, that's cool. It's the band. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm excited for all of them and each as their own fans. I'm just so torn because the worlds are built. The plots are outlined. So, so yes. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Bookshelf and a half. We have so many things going on. So many happy planner stickers. It's good. It's good. Yes, I'm not behaving. I have rum and apple cider. That sounds delicious too. I have, Procrast a planner. What's that? Mm. That sounds awesome. All right. So last time, I'm going to try and go. We have like a gazillion comments. I'm going to try and go through them. Um, ooh, here's a good question. Can anybody recommend a good multifaceted five-year planner? Uh, you would have to make it. You think? That, that was my first thought because a lot of like the five-year planners, it really kind of depends on what you want. Because if you just want one with like calendar stuff in it, 
you can pretty much get those off of Etsy. Um, that's what I was about to say. Anything, yeah. anything that's long term, I always go to Etsy because I'd rather get like a one year spread that I really like and reprint it mm -hmm. than get a five year one that doesn't work for me and then have to get another one when I start a new project or whatever and I need another calendar. So I'd, I'd recommend checking out Etsy. Just, just brace have... yourself and set a time limit. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. we will be there all day. all day. Yeah, that is the truth. I love Etsy. Oh my gosh, I have been. Oh, I have. Go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say I'd never been like I had never been. Um, I'd never considered getting stickers at Etsy, and then somebody mentioned it last month, and then I went like crazy the next day. There's there. I'll have to send you the video, but um, there's a there's a content creator here on YouTube. And she is a very fascinating case study for me um, because she has her own Etsy store where she makes like stickers for planners and stuff like that. And what she does is she pretty much just has like uh, kind of like here where she's got like uh, her day all well, not really like here, but she's got like week. She's got like a week setup going on. Yeah. And what she does is she records what goes on during the day via stickers. Um, and she's a really and the reason she's a fascinating case study for me is because um she basically says like well i only slept two hours and i'm not sure why i can't sleep for two hours so i decided to get up and work and so here i am going to put the working tired sticker right here and i was just kind of like stop <laughs> 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 like i already have 10 questions <laughs> i i think if i did that i would like not cease to do anything but stickers like just like oh now i'm tired i better doc or oh, i'm gonna have a sandwich and an avocado i better document that all right lr is restringing a traveler's journal I'll be planning my fourth quarter goals tomorrow I'll doing my planning tomorrow after grocery shopping for my birthday cake supplies for tuesday uh -huh. happy birthday happy yeah. birthday all right, getting more creative with my Bujo spreads, incorporating graph paper, construction paper to make the pages pop. I'm so excited. July started my second year of bullet journaling. That is awesome. Melanie hopes Savvy feels better. I do too. <laughs> yes, we might as well. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I have had like, uh, because this is only our second time, I cannot remember if we started planning and talking or if we did a timer last time. No, we did, we just chatted. Okay, that's what you, I thought. You thought about doing the thing. I was like, that's a bad idea. That's not going to work. Yeah, right? But I couldn't yeah. remember last time, like did we just chat or did we go? So let's be planning here, everybody. And I'm going to go through a couple more comments and then we are going to, um, we're just going to talk about what we're going to be planning. I'm going to be planning October. Why don't you guys talk about what you're going to plan? Uh, I am also going to be planning October and I was looking at October and the last Saturday of the month is actually Halloween. So I don't know if you wanted to do the next, you know, stickers and liquor <sighs> session on the 31st or on the 24th. I, it's going to have to be the 24th because um, Halloween is the most important holiday of the year okay in this house <laughs> yeah my halloween got spoken for too <laughs> yeah well uh, you know my i'm dating a horror, horror geek, too. Geek, so yeah. halloween is our thing all right yes although i'm sad because what will we do we used to go to this awesome party which obviously that's not happening okay so everybody marketing your calendar your planner 8 p.m. on on October, I almost said August. 8 p.m. October 24th, stickers and liquor. Oops. Okay. Planner Orama. Got it. Hashtag stickers and liquor. Okay. Oh. Awesome. All right. Fantastic. Fire pit for the win. <laughs> Uh, I really like that it lays flat. I have the bound version. We'll get the spiral next time. Yeah. Okay. So it, so just flipping through this, I'm going to go through more comments and then I'm going to flip through it. And then we're going to talk about this. Um, because I was super excited, but it is like the paper is a little thinner than I like. It does have a ton of like launch planning, action items, 
So it reminds you to social media post. But it has it for every day. I don't know. All right, we're going to go. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the same person uh, who did it did Sarah's Bitter Betsy is what I call him down. But, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's not nice. All right. Yay, Caro. Uh, Melanie has my bullet journal that, that I use so I can be uber creative with my layouts while also keeping them practical. I print daily pages to put in three ring binder because I can recycle them out of them. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good. Raptures for the holiday. I, you guys are on it tonight with the puns. Oh, my dog is not snoring so I can record my audio. Okay, Barbara, we will either see you later or have a great night. I'm so glad you made it. All right, chibi raptors. I don't get that. Raptors. Chibis. Chibis. Oh, the chibis. All right, yeah. got it. All right, there we go. So if you guys want to know about Caro's new publishing company, Mad Rap Raptor Productions. There we go. I want Mad Raptor Lemon Drops. Oh, my God, that would be so great. <gasps> and so on brand, right? Dangerous. I feel like I shouldn't drink and ink. Oh, that's good, too, drinking and inking. And <sighs> I don't drink alcohol either. That's okay, guys. It's not mandatory. I also have water. All right. And Melanie will proudly be a designated streamer. I got you. Thank you so much. We Thank you. Love. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> RC says, did somebody say skulls? Why, that was Devin, who doesn't drink alcohol or caffeine. That's somebody say, oh, I'm sorry. I just passed right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Spence, you've been through a lot over the last few months. It's okay if you don't meet up. It's totally okay, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we just have to keep going forward. And there are plenty of months when you don't um, when you don't make it. Spence says, all the success I've had so far this year has been because I've been stealing from Carol Brown's life. I love that. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> All right, I saw a great meme that sums up everything this year. It said, this too shall pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but it'll pass. Oh, my God, you guys, isn't that the truth? It's yeah, totally the truth. It really uh, is. Aw, that is the truth. It is always wonderful and lovely uh, to be in the, in the same space with Carol because she is wonderful and lovely and kind. Well, I think she was talking about Melanie, but. And, <laughs> and also Melanie. Good Lord. I feel like I need to do some planning. I'm not, this is mostly orange juice. In fact, it's almost entirely orange juice. It's what happens really, when you put more in <laughs> I haven't yet. I still have a full bottle right here. Anyway, I know. Okay. I'm planning on making brand planner stickers for authors, Sako Tumi says. That's super cool. And sign me up for that. I want to see mm -hmm. that. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. We're so glad you made it. Pixelated hugs. Oh, that's so sweet. Michael Chen, thank you so much. Oh, I see you just subscribed. Thank you very much. That was super sweet of you. Sako Tumi says, maybe I'll work on planner stickers tonight. That would be cool. Oh, and StreamYard just jumped. All right. Melanie says, I blame my organization on the remake of The Haunting place for everything and everything in its place. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you use it for free writes and for daily planning. Do you do your free writes right in the planner? That's kind of cool. I know. It's a super idea. Melanie agrees. It's such a great idea for free writes. I hadn't thought about that. All right, Jeannie says, I'm still trying to train myself on Tamara's planner and the Fox three months. So I love that it tells you to stay on course. Um, it does have a ton of stuff. Like it has things like newsletter marketing and contests and giveaways and paid advertising and newsletter swaps. I have to admit, I have not, um, I've only done like one newsletter swap and I did it with a friend of mine. And I've you never guys, done mine. 
No. Uh -huh. I feel like Tamara said that she had done them. She has. You? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she has, and she encouraged me to do one. Um, and that's on my thing to do at some point. I just haven't decided where that point is yet. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys in the chat? Oh, this is much better now that my hair's up. Um, how about you guys in the um, in the chat? Have you guys done newsletter swaps? Would you put them in your planner if you did? Okay. Melanie says, I cannot plan that much in a planner. Anyone who does, I so commend you. That's what I felt a little overwhelmed by all this stuff. I have to say. Like first there are like 17 different calendars. So that I would lose things. I'm positive. And also like the week at the glance, week at a glance, like that's not enough space for me to write all my stuff I have to do. Oh yeah. Does it have a daily setup at all? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That looks like the, no, they have, you have like this little, you have like a monthly one, which that's definitely not enough to write stuff in. Um, I think it would almost be better for like just book launch stuff, like not a planner for anything else. But if you were doing a launch or a couple of launches, and maybe mm. that's all people intend for it to be. I found more success now that I have broken up my work planner away from my home and personal planner. Really? Yeah, I, I, I started, I have like a three piece system and I just incorporated the third piece and it makes all the difference. Um, my first one that I use like all the time is my work notebook and that's my tool notebook visuals provided by Carol Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is purple with gray rings. Nice. Mm. Visualizing. And, um, yes. And it has the sky actually got me into the tool planner. Oh, and that reminds me before I space it, we need to make sure that Sky gets an invite to the next one because we're all talking about Fox planners and we're talking about happy planners. That's her Sky, jam. Sky has Frankenbabed a Fox planner with a tool planner. I was there when yeah. she did it. It's rad. And maybe we'll be able to get her to go through it. And um, that would be she, awesome. She even took the pocket that comes inside the Fox planner notebook and was able to put it in the back of the tool notebook. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. She full on Frankenbabed it. And um, awesome. all right, you're in charge of reminding me for that, Amy. I already sent her a message. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Just remind me next time, or you can send her the invite directly. Just oh, remind me next time. No, I already know what I need to do. Hold on. All right. October got 21st. It. All remind right. Lisa. But um, <laughs> I've got, I, I, she gave me uh, uh, the tool planners year packet, like, it's it's uh, all 52 weeks. Oh, yeah. And I use that one for work. And I have, I'm up in the double digits of clients now. So there are some days when I'm like pulling my hair out. And um, I have found that it's easiest for me to keep a list for each client of where I am in the project. Don't, don't try to make like a big master list. No, I have a tool notebook that actually, I think I might have a picture that I might be able to share. But um, I have a set of 12 monthly dividers and I use it for, you know, I have 11 clients. And so I have 12 sections, but 11 clients. And um, I put that in the tool notebook. Sky, <laughs> I will say this. If you're going to get a tool notebook or a happy planner, yeah. buy the hole puncher. You need Don't the hole puncher. Yourself. Don't kid yourself, buy the hole puncher. Yeah. I did not buy the hole puncher because Sky gave me my first one as a gift. And um, so now every so often I just hit up Sky and I'm like, hey, bring the puncher. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Will a regular hole puncher not work? Why do you need a special pole puncher? I'm so kidding. so most three it's a dust bound it. system. You know what? Hold on. We're talking about hole punchers, right? Yes. Oh, well, here we go. 
See, I'm not even drinking, but I feel like I've already derailed my own conversation like three oh, times. I'm sorry. Cookie dough. <laughs> I'm, I'm, You're on a sugar high. Right? I have three I'm different kinds of punchers. <laughs> I've, got your standard, go. I've got your standard three ring one, right? Right. right I have so one of those. It works perfectly fine. I have this thing, which is actually used for my micro binders that okay. I used to that I used to use as a teacher because I would put, um, I would basically give all the students like a little tiny binder and just kind of that way I, when something would happen, I'd just grab it and just walk off with it kind of thing. Um, now the tool one is different because it doesn't have a three ring system. It's got this thing going on. It has 11 rings. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But when you invest and get the big one like that, it has an adjustable bottom. So you can also use it to hole punch the junior size, which is the six by eights. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of office supplies in here because one of the things that they teach you to do when you're an educator is to hoard office supplies. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got you beat on the three hole on the hole punchers though. I don't have the tool, but I have a six by eight that has or the like you know six by eight notebook size i have two of those one that's just a three mm. ring and one that's a six ring but then the three ring like big ones i have one where like it's old and it's my dad's from when he was in the military because he did a bunch of office stuff at first and um i can have up to nine rings on it i can adjust the distances of the rings like That's I can cool. add rings, take rings out, move them closer together, move them farther apart. I get to pick how far apart the rings are. And then you use these like little screws and screw them down into your fixed distances. And um, so, yeah, I'll have to see if I can find it and take a picture of it. And we can start sharing hole puncher pictures <laughs> on social media. <laughs> Hashtag nerds. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> but I remember what I was saying. I'll, I'll try to say it real quick. Um, I've got a tool notebook that I have all of my clients in it. And mm -hmm. so I keep the tool yearly calendar where they have the weekly spreads in there. And I found it's a lot easier for me to record the work that I did more so than the work that I have to do. And um, oh, I keep all of the to do's in my different client sections. And then my personal one is my personal one. You know, if I need to run errands and that kind of stuff, it's not, it's not anything fancy. It's just a weekly spread and a chore list that I print out every week. And, um, uh, but my third element is, and again, props to Sky and Caro, because they got me to start doing a Kanban board. And so I'm able to put up on the Kanban board, like, I've got a calendar. I've got a little space where I use some um, washi tape mm -hmm. and it made like a little six week calendar thing. And if anything's really important, I put it in the little six week calendar. And um, so I, I have a visual element where I can remind myself, Hey, what's more important? Like, okay, this week I have family thing coming up. So this week I have a family sticker. And if I have a deadline coming up for this client, I'll put them up there in the priority section. That's and, great. Um, so I have a visual thing to tell me my priorities, but then I have a weekly planner to tell me what I've done because, you know, a lot of my deadlines and like, oh, it's eight weeks from whenever. And it's a lot easier for me to just flip through my notebook than it is to go, okay, well, I sent them <laughs> four reports that day because I had keywords and all this other stuff. So which report is it? No, I just record what I did and what I sent in the calendar and I don't know if that's a pro tip or not, but for anybody who's doing freelancing and you have a system where you take notes for your individual clients, I find that it's easier to keep a master list of the things that you did at the end of the day mm -hmm. in your weeklies than it is to try to tell yourself what you need to do all week long. That's yeah. interesting. So. That is interesting. All right. Heather's here. Hey, Heather. Very Hi, Heather. nice. So glad to see you. Thank you very much for that. Athena found my lawn fawn stamps and says damn straight Halloween is the most important. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Melanie says, ooh, Saka, we need to chat about the Halloween stream. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I have been, I've been like trying to find YouTube stickers. I have found some. Like I have a few, but I don't Did have. Did you check Etsy? 
Yes. Really? And you didn't find them? I found some. I just didn't find any I was like madly in love with. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. not. There's some in there where I'm kind of like, yeah, that could work. But then it's like, you want me to pay $10 for five stickers? Like, yeah. Yeah. I, though I did pay like the one, the little pastel typewriters with the little word count. I did, I did pay like a lot for those. But they're so mm -hmm. cute. I couldn't help myself. All right. I, my 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 hesitation on it, which is kind of like, first off, if we're gonna be buying YouTube stickers, right? It means that we're probably doing a lot right. on YouTube, like on a weekly basis. <laughs> I'm gonna need yeah. more than ten stickers. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or more than five. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. More than that. All right. Sarah just yeah. finished drawing on my drawing on her calendar. Perfect timing to make this the first appointment. Very nice. Hey, Alexis. Uh, so we started at eight o'clock um, and we have just been, uh, we're just planning away right now and comparing stickers and planners and planning tips. So what are you work? What are you working on tonight, Alexis? Bonnie, I love that. Thank you. We love you, Bonnie. Oh my gosh. Now 30 minutes. What's that, Caro? Did I miss something? Oh, uh, well, when she had asked, it had been at the 30 minute mark. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I don't know what this means. The sturgeon get big enough to eat a person. We have those alligators. Okay. RC Scott says Carol Brand still not getting a planner. One day it will happen. Oh, Sako says, should I do skull planner stickers? And the answer is yes. If you do, same thing, Sako, if you do those, let me know. I will have a use for them. Um, Ow! LR, thank Ow. you so much for being here. Is the cat getting to you, Amy? <laughs> no. What happened? The, sorry, I thought I was muted. I wouldn't have called my dog an asshole on the stream if I had known better. <laughs> oh. we, got a, we got a boy puppy, and he's not small, and he's a hound, and he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. But he wasn't very, like, socialized, and so I'm trying not to discourage him from seeking contact but his version of seeking contact is just walking up to me and huh, punching me and he just punched me in the back i didn't even know he was in the room so next time you're getting an elbow man <laughs> check yourself before you wreck yourself uh okay so melanie says i search for free daily planner templates via google there's a lot on pinterest and etsy but some you have to pay for mm -hmm. you can make layouts on canva as well i know i did that with my i didn't use canva i just use um i don't even know what it's called the macro or pages mm -hmm. to make like massive like nice to-do lists because i used to write every single thing that i had to do that day for uh, you know in my big planner but I, I probably don't need to know, like, run to the dry cleaner or, or, you know, things like that. So, or 2 p.m. dentist. Well, I would put 2 p.m. dentist appointment in my planner. If I ever left my house, which I never do anymore. I feel like I'm busier, though. Is that just me or do you guys feel busier, too? No, uh, I know when I started working from home, I went from being kind of busy to, like, just always busy. And it's because when your office is at home, like, it's really easy to, like, in your brain trick yourself into thinking, like, I'll just do this thing on Saturday. It won't take any time. And then you don't give yourself any downtime. Like, it's really – it's a very different switch um, from when you work in a traditional setting to working at home because when yeah. I used to work – when I used to work in a traditional setting, I would leave work and I wouldn't think about it most of the time until I came back the next day. Now that I work from home, like it's just, it's just, it's super easy for me to be like, I'll just go in the office and edit that video or I'll just go in and do this clip or I'll just go like, yeah. It, yeah. It's yeah. really Dang. hard to turn it off. Do it you really guys? Is. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Do you guys put like, do you put downtime in your planner? I literally have a section every day. Don't laugh at me, but I have to. And it says mandatory fun. Good. Hold on. I'm putting this. Oh, okay. Fine. Holding me accountable now. Oh my God. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, that was me. If I'm not mistaken, it's your husband who enforces the mandatory fun time, isn't it? <laughs> I just, I just took Caro out. I'm not quite sure how I did that. I don't know what I just did. Carol, you get to be on the. Yeah. 
All right, you get to be the center now. It's your turn. Then I'll switch everybody around again. I'm not sure what I just did. Right, you're okay. Don't worry. It's fine. All right. All right. Fantastic. Very good. Uh, Jeannie says she likes the list in the back. You guys can all read. I probably don't have to read all these. I think that the book launch stuff will probably be the best part of this author planner. I think it will. So do you guys do like, do you break up your planners? Like I said, like I have a work planner and a personal planner, or do you prefer having just one big massive notebook of stickers? I've tried uh, a massive notebook thing and I can't, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the all in one um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, I think mostly because for it to be that, for that to encompass everything, it has to be like this huge, right? Yeah. yeah. And for my daily operation stuff, I really want it to be like this big, but you can't have it be this big and this thick, right? Like for what I would need, you have to be like, right? Yeah. Um, so I actually do have my planners broken up. Um, I have, I have just the dedicated Mad Raptor planner for everything that has to be for Mad Raptor, because the last thing I also want to do is go like flipping through here trying to find stuff as well. Um, yeah, breaking up the clients, I mean, it really makes a big difference. And there's some digital options that people can do, too, because I know that there's some people that are more inclined to do things for, like, a digital setting. And, um, like, in a Google Calendar, you can make a calendar for each whatever that you're doing. If you want to keep it separate, you can also use OneNote as well. They have lots of OneNote planner templates that are out there. Mm -hmm. My my only hesitation with using OneNote is that OneNote actually unknowingly does take up a lot of space on your computer, especially if you start using all the features on it, like recording while you're taking notes and stuff like that. And yeah. so, so you'll have that one program and everything else, and you'll be like, where did all my computer space go? OneNote. Right. Yeah. And I, I never advocate for online stuff because of Gremlins. You don't. You don't. Yeah. I really don't. I, the online planning is not an option for me. So don't kid yourself. If you're in, if your internet is inconsistent, just just be kind to yourself and figure out a paper system because it's rough. Keep when it on paper online. I need to see it too. Like I kind of need to see it spread out. If it's online, I don't necessarily always remember everything. Not that I don't like utilize a lot of like little timers and reminders and things like that, because I have no concept of time, which anyone who's ever streamed with me knows that is, <laughs> I just have no 27 minutes, three minutes. It's all the same. I, I can't tell the difference. I try to be good, but it's, it's not my, it's not my best skill. All right. So um, Sarah was talking about newsletter swaps. Um, see a lot of newsletter swaps among mystery authors, but I haven't done one yet. I'm not quite sure how it works. Usually you'll just find some, either do it with a friend or find someone who has um, an audience similar to yours and you do a plug for their book in your newsletter. They do a plug for your book in theirs. Wait, did I say that the same way? You swap like that. And you maybe get some of their people and they maybe get some of your people, which is cool because, you know, authors or readers rarely just read one book a year. They often read a lot of the same type of book. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, it's a good marketing tactic mm -hmm. if you find someone who has similar books or similar genre to you because it's a, right. but you don't want to necessarily find your friend. Like, I mean, of course you're going to have an overlapping one, but you'll find the best professional opportunities if you go out with like an associate who's in the same industry, same niche, but not necessarily in the same social circles, because what you're basically trying to do is put all of your infos and all of your goodies into in front of a whole new subset of what is your audience. You just haven't reached them yet. Right. So uh, if you're considering it, try branching out a little bit farther than your immediate circle of peoples, um, just because you will benefit them just as much as they'll benefit you. It, right. It absolutely. Better. Absolutely. There used to be a site that, um, that organized newsletter swaps and I think mm -hmm. they got bought out or went under or something. A lot uh, of them went under, sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, a lot no, of them no, went no. under because Google does not like bot links anymore. And they're already starting to cut back on like, okay, well you link to me, I link to you. 
it's simple. We didn't exchange money, so it's not a bot link, but it's a give and take. They're already starting to try. I'm not already starting to, but they're trying to cut down on that too. So a newsletter is a direct way to engage your audience where it's not going to count against you. So it's like a trickle down thing, you know, that started with businesses, but it goes all the way down to smaller entrepreneurs like independent writers. So it's, it's a whole thing. I was just learning about it the other week. Sorry to, sorry to take <laughs> over the conversation, no, but I was I, just no, reading about it. No, no, I was just curious about, I was just curious about who had done it before. Uh, Sako combined the legend Fox and Heroes Journal. Love that. Mm. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Thank you for coming by. All right. Athena says uh, she has every hole puncher. I find that hilarious for mm -hmm. every. It's official. Carol Brown's office is the room of requirements. Uh, the hole puncher collection. That is a lot of confetti. Oh my gosh. That is so, so true. So true. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're talking about the sturgeon again. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Check for the sort. You can print your stuff. Sticker paper isn't all that pricey or a glue stick. That's true. Yeah. You know, I actually made some like live stream stickers because I like to have a. Um, I like to have a little live stream sticker in my thing because I do, you know, we do our Wednesday one here and I do Carol's on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. And um, so I made a bunch. I made like a bunch of like little cute. I just had, and I just put them on like regular labels. I do have to cut them out. So that's not as fun, but they're super cute and I love them. <laughs> Melanie gives Halloween a whole page all by herself. What kind of stuff do you guys track in your planner? Like your regular planner? I don't track anything really. Like, I have the luxury in my schedule of getting to sleep as much as I want. So I don't have to worry about, you know, focusing on maintaining that element of my health. I drink I like water I drink plenty of water like you know the only thing I should track but I don't is what I eat just because I am a grazer mm -hmm. <laughs> so I should do that but I don't I don't actually track very much anything that I can think of actually off the top of my head I try hello novel, novel nana so glad to see you um I do track my word count I go through phases where I track my water because I just forget to drink water. I try to, like, I'm really good first thing in the morning. I usually drink water right when I get up. And I always want to drink water, like, at night because apparently that's when I'm parched. But um, I forget to drink enough water during the day, and I'm really trying to make sure I get two liters a day. And um, so I will go through phases where I track water until I get – regular until I'm good at it again and I'm drinking enough and then I'll notice like oh I'm not drinking enough water so then I'll just just to make sure that I get enough water I do not track calories I do not track exercise I track good things I track water hey exercise <laughs> is a good thing so it the is that tracks it <laughs> right no I, I don't track it because if I think about it that way, that like it feels really good to move your body, right? It feels really good. I love to swim. I super love my awesome new treadmill desk. Um, but I don't want to, like, I just want to enjoy moving. As long as I'm moving every day, I'm good. I feel like if I track it, then it makes it more of a thing, which is funny because I don't feel like that about word count and I don't feel like that about water, but I have a thing about exercise. So. I don't know what that means. Can you analyze me, Carol? Um, you're you are externally focused and not internally focused. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. You don't like cups either. <laughs> I don't like cups. Well, I mean, <laughs> for okay. my water. 
Amy, Amy gets my joke. Um, no, so when I <laughs> the tarot up, decks, uh, cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I guess the part of the reason I don't like cups and the cup suit is because it's a lot of it is about internal emotional reflection, mm-hmm. and I just don't like doing that. <laughs> I'm not a fan, but I guess I was asking because I actually do track my sleep. Um, and my, oh, yeah. yeah, so I track my sleep because. Um, one correlation that I noticed at the start of the year when I was tracking it at the time is that anytime that I was having six or less hours of sleep, like obviously my mood is tanking, which for everybody in the comment section, you're like, duh. Right. But you know, it's, it's one thing to like read it and then to see how badly it impacts you. Um, I'm just kind of stuff like that, but yeah, I track my sleep and I also track like I, I track my exercise, but I track it for a different reason because I have a chart here. Uh huh. I am determined this quarter to do the one punch man workout. Oh, um, that's awesome. Yeah. So, but that means that I have to run six <laughs> miles a day, do 100 push ups, do 100 sit ups, and do 100 squats. I don't, a, I don't even understand what you just said. You're a bad actor. Are you still speaking English or did you start caring? Exercise. <laughs> that is totally badass. But I can do I can do the sit-ups and the squats. I struggle with the push-ups and like this week I've been running like three miles a day. So it's just having to like build up to that. So but yeah, so I made the tracker thing in here to track all of that just so I can watch my progress because I am also a progress person where if I see that I am doing better than <laughs> I did last week, even if it's by one percent, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that makes a huge difference to be able to see progress and to go. And I guess that's a good thing to look at when you feel like you're not making progress. If you can track your progress on the things that you're trying to make progress on, even if you write down like your not your, maybe not even your word count, like for the day, but your word count for the week, every week, just so you see that number and not like, Oh, I got, 1200 or six words or 8,000 words, but like, okay, I'm at 39,500 or I'm at, you know, 41,600 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That if you just write that down and you see that incremental progress, even if it just goes up a little bit, it's always going up and you know you're making that progress towards your book. It was Michelle who did that. um, Michelle did a vlog where she talked about uh, doing the Chris Fox 5,000 words an hour. Yeah book and she uh she she related her word count to when she used to do more long distance running and Mm -hmm. time and do the comparison um i don't know i got mixed thoughts on that because i know there's like a big okay so coming from me the word count person um but (laughs) there's a big discussion about word counts and if you should be like hyper focused on it and if you are like how much is too much and like when does it become a hindrance and stuff like that like I hear like I hear the conversations, but I don't always see people like talk about them in depth. What, can I help you? <laughs> can I help you? What's going on? Do I have to do some fixating on word counts only because like, you know, like article lengths and the number of times I have to incorporate keywords and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. I, 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 now that I'm actually like on the outside edges of this writer community and I see it a lot more, I see a lot more people who do the healthy word tracking habits. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, the people that stuck at that stuck out that I would notice were the people where I was like, that doesn't really matter. Like you don't have to meet a certain number if you're writing good words. Like I write slow but I, all I have to do is go back through and edit for typos and stuff like that because I just, I'm a slow writer. Yeah. But it I ma- write better words. And Caro, you know, has these like ridiculously big number counts for word sprints and all that stuff. But she's the first one to tell you, no, it's word vomit. And I do it knowing that I have to come back and, and filter it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, and that's just what works for me though, because I can't. If I like, I've tried cycling and I've tried like going back and fixing things as I go. And then I be, I get too fixated on that scene. And then I don't end up progressing where, um, you know, Amy can sit there and she can take her time with it. She can make sure that it comes out. And ironically, we'll probably end up spending about the same amount of time on the book. We just do it differently. Right. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah definitely. Um, 
Mr. Brown wants to know if you want a cider. <laughs> oh, I already, I already answered. It. You already got it. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I, for me, like, I always need to keep a, 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 a some sort of count of my word count because you know when you're under contract, you have to finish by a deadline, and so you got to figure out how long it's going to take you and how many words you need to get done mm -hmm. um, in order to you know make that book happen by your deadline. I will say though, like right now, last six months, I just am not as productive word wise. Like I used to knock out 3000 words easy every day, a couple of hours. And now I'm like, there are times when I sit and I'm just not, I'll get like 300 or 400 words or, and then I'll have a couple days where I'm like getting, you know, 1500 or 3000, but then I'll go back to nothing again. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, go on. Okay, no, okay, so Spence says, I, the whole puncher conversation came back around and I reminded me that I have a long arm stapler. I'm so stoked. I'm gonna start making sketchbooks and notebooks for myself to sell on a piece. I have a long arm stapler, which I did to put together, which I got to put together press kits. And that sucker is so handy. It's like a stapler, but it's really long. And so you can, um, you can staple things together like booklets, like great big, oh my gosh, they're awesome. They're super incredible. You wouldn't think that just a stapler would be so exciting, but seriously, honestly, fantastic. I can't talk. I go to the office Mac store and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, that's one of the things I love about getting into this community is everybody else here are stationary fiends. You know, like oh. a, a fancy stapler makes you happy on the inside. And I'm like, my people. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I love that. I love Amy I love and I were having a talk in a, it because we have like a we have like a chat where we talk about whatever mm -hmm. and they started sharing pictures of like this tool thing right and i was like <laughs> what is that what is it right and they're like oh it's this and it looks like that and i was like where do i find it it's like oh i have <laughs> store and i was like okay and then they get a picture of me at the store <laughs> <laughs> and her twist, bizarre twist of fate her tool section at her office max is bigger than mine and the guy's tool section in our office max and i was like how unfair is this <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh that's terrible all right um mm says i keep track of my post stroke symptoms in my planner it makes my doctors happy but it makes me depressed to realize how many issues i still have oh that's, yeah that's rough i know it's a great but habit to have though i have one friend who is really sensitive to uh her birth controls and like really really bad and yeah um, as soon as she started doing that it was only like maybe like six or eight months before she was able to find one that she's been on for quite a while Oh, that's but good. it took it took about a year of her going back to the doctor and saying something's wrong. I just and it's a really great habit to have if you have health issues. If just you, saying. If, if you give them empirical evidence, they'll listen. Like yeah. when um, I can't remember what it was. I was having I was having an issue too, and I used a, I didn't use a planner at the time, but I had like a, a log, but I kept it in. And I was like, these these are my symptoms. This is the frequency, and this is what I think it is. But you're the one that's got the fancy bit of paper, and they're like, no, you're right. And I was like, oh, thank God. I'm like, okay, that's good. Doctor Caro strikes again. Right. Eve attracts words and moods. That is really smart. I do not. We talked about sleep before. I do not track sleep, but if I do not get enough, I take a nap because if I don't, if I regularly don't get enough sleep, I get migraines. I don't function well. I just, I got to get sleep. Ooh, Novel Nana has a habits tracker, water, goals, writing progress, acts of kindness. I love that. Prayer list and requests, birthdays movies to see, books to read, and all kinds of stuff. I like to track things. Oh, <laughs> speaking of. Uh, what? Go ahead, what? Sorry. Oh, You're with your people, Novel Nana. <laughs> all right, go I'm ahead. Not, I'm not sponsored by Clever Fox, um, but Clever Fox has that in here, too. Ah, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah. I figured out something that I do track. What's do you that? Track? I take all kinds of courses. Like I, I audit and mentor a couple of courses. And so I take all kinds of just like courses that I take. And so 
Um, I actually do have a section in my work notebook where I'm like, okay, this week I'm going to finish the, you know, um, Moz's technical SEO audit course. And I track my progress through the list of courses. And if I need be through the course itself, because some of them I do the work for, some of them I just audit the content material. And um, so I do track that. I track my, I don't know, what would you even call that? I mean, it is my school, but I'm not technically going to school. I take them on all these different, like, you know, Skillshare and all that stuff. I, I can speak to that. Mm -hmm. You're tracking your professional development. There you go. Yeah, I nice. like that. Thank Very you. Very nice. Love that. All right. So Melanie says revi she's revising. I'm sorry to get scissors out. Um, she's revising first book in her series. So she's been tracking how many words I add to my manuscript during my writing sessions and then add them up for a weekly total. That is great. I finished drawing my lines, as Kara would say. I drew a whole bunch of straight lines. I did some straight lines, and it was good. Yes, yes. Yes, we feel you, Twitch Fixer. It's this has been like the worst. I usually am like really good about it, and I have I've like had to make changes where I'm going to bed a little earlier. I just need to really make sure that I get enough. It's hard though. And I'm not. Are you guys sleeping as well? I'm. I have not slept well since like since all this stuff has been happening lately. Uh, you know what? My sleep's been jacked since mid January. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, because like um I used to get up at like I would I'm a five AM gym person. Like I go to the gym at five AM because one, I want to get out of the way, two, I don't want to fight for the machines, and three, because I like to do it. Um and so uh when everything started going down, like my the gym got taken away, my routine got taken away. At one point they were just like, Don't go outside. And so like right. I'm like I'm an active, not like super like athletic active person. I'm sure you guys have seen me move around a little bit. Um, but I like I like to work out. I like to be physically active. And so the moment that that got jacked, I was just kind of like, there's only so many squats I can do in my house to like right. do this. Like I need yeah. a machine. Yeah, Mike built a whole gym. Like he struggled for months and months, but he's a power lifter. He, um. And he like would go to the gym every day for like two hours and lift heavy stuff. And, um, and he just couldn't stand it. So he was, you know, like when it was really obvious that it was not going to be over in a couple of months, he just started building a gym and he now has a pretty awesome gym out there. Not that I will go, but <laughs> good for him. <laughs> It's I always feel him. like an asshole, but my sleep and everything is pretty normal. Like my, besides wearing a mask when I go out, yeah, my life is not actually that different. Like all of my people were essential workers. So like nobody even lost a job or had to take a vacation. Like it's mostly construction and a couple grocery people. So like, uh, my life hasn't actually changed that much. It's weird to hear these stories about people's like entire routines and their jobs and everything in danger because I've got, you know, very, very limited repercussions, which I'm extremely grateful for. Don't get me wrong. I'm thankful every day for it, but I'm okay. <laughs> so, well, that yeah. is, that is good. All right. I'm going to switch you guys. Hold on, Amy. Don't be alarmed. All right, you're coming back. <laughs> I am alarmed. <laughs> I, just, I just thought, like, we're cutting off Kara's head. Yeah, no, I always tell everybody, just move me to the end. I'm just an avatar. It's all good. We're good. Uh, Melanie says, keep track of how much I get done on any given day, even if it's just some household tasks. I consider that a win. Living with mental illness makes it easier to forget things sometimes. True. Absolutely true. Well, and, you know, there are so many writers that have, like, depression, anxiety, right? All that stuff impacts right your ability. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, my my anxiety, the way I regulate it is I have to have a routine, which it's, like, my routine is actually pretty basic. Wake up, work out, get some stuff done, eat lunch, get more stuff done, take, take, the, take the rest of the day off if I can, right? Yeah. So, the moment my routine gets jacked, like... 
my brain doesn't know what to do. And it can be something as simple like my brother came to live with us, which means that I don't have access to the treadmill, which meant that I couldn't run inside. Oh. Yeah. So it's just, and it's not his fault. I'm very happy. No. I don't want anybody to be like, oh, look at you being, no. No, it's not that. It's just different. Yeah, and yeah, one just time about our routines, we we under something. Sometimes people underestimate that there's just a comfort in your routine that you like, and it it affects other areas of you when it's taken. Well, and when we have a routine, we don't have to think about that stuff. If you get up every day and go to the mm -hmm. gym, you don't. You just get up every day and go to the gym. You don't have to think about that. But now we have to make all these new decisions because our lives are different, and that takes more energy. Michael, you are so right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I try to be really good about Like I try to block my path with water when I'm not drinking enough water. And the crazy thing is once you start drinking enough water again, then your body craves it. It'll usually be like some, some weird thing that gets me off track. And then I have to like retrain myself to drink enough of it. Yeah. Your body usually gets used to having certain things. And yeah. when it, and then when we're not having certain things. So when you change that, that, right. that yeah, it's, uh, what was it? I was working with a, I was working with a group of women that were recovering from substance abuse. And um, I was very new to everything that was involved with that, but I was helping them out with, um, uh, I can't remember what I was there. They had, they brought me in to speak about something. I can't remember what it is right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, come back to me. Um, but one thing that I noticed is that they all had energy drinks, right? Mm -hmm. And like I had like noted it in my brain. And then afterwards I was like, hey, is there like is there like some kind of thing that they're all doing with the energy drinks? And the lady had told me it's like, no, actually people who recover from drug and alcohol addiction will find something else to cling on to. And a lot of them go straight to the energy drinks because that's legal. And I was like, Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, smokers do it a lot. You find a lot of like really skinny people, like people who have health, like <laughs> over dieters, smoke because you can go out and you can just have a quick cigarette instead of having a snack and your body gets something and it's like, ah, I, uh, I volunteered with a, um, I forgot what it was called, but it was kind of like uh, the local community colleges, like, hey, this is how to be a grown up program. And so. <laughs> one of the women's issues that came up was something similar to that. Like, you know, don't, don't take up smoking and think that instead of having a snack, you can just go have a cigarette. Right. It's way worse for you. It is. Yeah. And ironically, as an ex smoker, what do we usually all go to once we quit smoking? Snacks. We candy. We got a candy. We got candy. an oral candy. Yeah. I just skipped right to the candy. I didn't smoke. I just went right to the candy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> How do you get off the candy, for God's sake? All right. Uh, Bonnie says she tracks time, words, who I wrote with, if anyone, mood in a short paragraph each time in the document before I write. Oh, so, okay. So this is an interesting thing. When I, um, years ago, I started a tracker to um, track, like a spreadsheet to track where I wrote. I was trying to figure out where I was most productive, what time I was most productive, like where I was writing, what I was listening to, or you know whatever else, anything else that impacted me. If I slept well that night, if I had a headache or whatever. And because I used to, if I like, if I hit my word count every day, I would go write at the beach on Friday. Like if I made my word count, okay, my little reward is that I go to the beach and write. But then what I realized is that I write like almost double at the beach that I do at my office. So then I went to the beach every day to write, which was awesome. Except now we can't go to the <laughs> beach every day to write. Right. And so I literally, and I'd had this routine, like, I don't know, for like eight years, maybe it's been a long time. And, um, and so I like am like going through that again, trying to figure out what if I'm listening to this kind of music or if I'm listening to ocean sounds, which I do because that sort of helps get me in that frame of mind. So um, that is something that I track, but I track that separately. I have a little spreadsheet for that. All right, good. That is all good. And Melanie, I love that you are celebrating little victories. I think that is super super important. Look who's here. It's Georgie. Hey, hey Georgie. Georgie. We're so glad you made it. 
Oh my gosh, StreamYard jump. Yay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so far behind. Okay. My layouts for October are done. To be fair, I started on them a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to grab a snack and chat with Hubby. All right. We'll see you when you get back. All right. Ooh, what's everyone's favorite color? I need to pick a color and I don't want it. <gasps> Can you tell what my favorite color is? Might be pink. Mm -hmm. It's not blue, actually. It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. That's yours? I love, love it. That's why my dino's teal, too. My dino's got, like, oh. you guys see my dino? I'm just saying, my dino's got teal. Wait, hold on. We're going to make you big. Look at your dino. That's this is awesome. This the raptor wrangler. Love yeah, it. That's my name. Yeah, the raptor that's wrangler. Super, super, super cute. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, blue is my favorite color. Oh, I should have known that from the. Pink is just the. The name. I should have known that from the from name. From everything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I think the only, the only ahead, things sorry. in my office are those. Hold on. Let me see that. Are my chair cover and my, um, hold on. There we go. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. That's Amy's, right? Yeah. And she's hiding. On the website, just, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's hiding in the bushes just like she does on the stream. That's awesome. Right. What's your favorite color, Amy? Uh, the rainbow, actually. <laughs> if the raptor didn't tell you, no. Um, honestly, my favorite color is gray. And then when people harass me and they're like, that's not really a color, because technically it's not, I say green. So gray and green. You know what? If gray is your favorite color, don't you pick your second choice for those people. You just <laughs> can take it. You go, if gray is it. If your favorite color is clear, yeah. that's what color you say, baby. Yeah. Right. Really? That's my favorite color, but I usually like to wear black clothes. Yeah, yeah. I wear all different colors. I do wear like kind of beachy, tropical, bright colors just because that's what I mean. So, all right. Uh, MM says it depends on the season. That's interesting. You have different colors at different times of year. What is the character's favorite season? That's interesting. She says not for a character. It's just for some background colors on a site. Deeper red tones tend to be seasonless. Golds and oranges are summer and autumn. Michael says, a typical good writing day for me is three hours completed in the timer and 500-ish words produced. Good for you. That's great. That's really great. I have a toddler for the sleep tracking. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Sacco says, I sleep a lot. Got to try to sleep. I, like, my aunt had, she took, like, these long, like, two-hour naps every day, like, for as long as I can remember. As long as I've known her, she's, like, she has, like, her little afternoon siesta. And so I just have always thought, like, if you're tired and you can take a nap, you should take a nap. And so I do. Although sometimes you, when you have little kids, it's, like, impossible to take a nap. It's kind of impossible to get a reasonable amount of sleep. That's good. You're still on top of these comments sections. Like, how much planning are you actually doing? I'm not doing as I'm not doing much planning. <laughs> put, put the comments away. Put the, put, put the comments away. Put the comments away. What Melanie's back. I had to say that. All right, let me just... Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play it. I did get... So, I got, like, the live stream stickers in. What do those look like? I made a bunch. They're super cute. Here. Uh, now it's going to be the Lisa show for a second while we look at live stream stickers. Woo. Okay, look at those. Oh, I love that, actually. Thank you. And ooh, that one's the same. So, like I said, I just made you look like this one. I just did them on, like, regular labels so you can see, like, <laughs> that I have to, like, cut them to make them go. Here we go. I have this one like that. Oh, wait. Hold on. That one I printed on the wrong side. I have that one. And I have this one. All right. So, yeah, I just made those because That's I couldn't cute. find any that I liked. How do I make myself that big anymore? All right, there we go. Figure, you figured it out. Look at you go. I know, right? Yes, I, I haven't done as much planning as I would like. It's okay. That's what friends are for. We interview. Take a sit. 
<laughs> take, engage in your okay. liquors and your stickers. You got this. All right, I got it. Here, I'll, I'll take. I'll send that to Amy too, because she'll be like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, put it down. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, <sighs> I know it's so terrible. Stop doing the thing that you think that you need to do right now. <laughs> but, but, and there's always a reason that I'm doing it. And she never takes no for an answer. She just keeps telling me to stop until finally I'm like, all right, I guess you're making sense. I'll stop. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I get an attitude like it raised my voice like that too. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason I do it because you do like the exact same things that I do. So when you start doing something, it's like, nope, I know what that is. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Hold on. Spence says I've been consistently up the last few days until four or five in the morning getting stuff done. <sighs> it's not sustainable. My body hates me, but I'm loving it. You're loving it because you're so productive. Is that what you mean? I'm, just, um, <laughs> I'm like confused. You're not loving the four or five in the morning. That can't be right. I will say when I'm stressed, sometimes I wake up super early and I always hate it later. Really. You know, ironically, Amy and I were having a conversation about this. Um, <laughs> Amy, stop, stop having conversations we're about to have. Um, Lisa, know, start right? planning. Okay, I'm planning, I'm planning. I'm sorry, comment section. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because we were talking the other day about how at one point I used to do, um, I used to stay up all night and work and then go to do my morning classes and then go to sleep. And I was like, I got so much done. And I don't even know why I got so much done. But there was something about being awake and getting stuff done when people were sleeping and then sleeping when they were awake that somehow made my brain be like, I am very productive now. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys want to hear a funny anecdote, the rest of how that conversation went was I had a deadline. And so I was like, I'm going to pull an all nighter and I'm not stopping until it's done. And so I ended up talking to Carol because she's in the time zone behind me. Yeah, I'm, and then we had that conversation that she just mentioned, mm -hmm. and then I made it to about midnight, and I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm out." Like I just, <laughs> I didn't make it all nighter. I made it to a stopping point where I was comfortable with my amount of progress, and then I was like, "I gotta go to bed." I turn into a whiny brat when I'm sleeping. Like I, I am. Yeah, I'm a grown ass woman, and I talk like this when people annoy me because I'm tired. <laughs> So yeah, it's that was the rest of that conversation. And then, and then when I told Carol, I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. I gotta go to bed. All she said back was "ninny." Oh, <laughs> oh. All right, Melanie says she's gonna head out a little bit early to rest since Hubs and I are going on a day trip out of town. How fun! Thanks so much for hosting. I'm looking forward to next month. Thank you so much for being here. We're so glad. Taco loves to live stream stickers. They're wonderful. Thank you. Hey, Quiet Adventure. So glad you made it today. All right. I'm being good. <laughs> Not really, but I'm trying. Oh, please, some people. <laughs> right. I had a question. Um, yeah. Put that on. Did you still want to, on the first, for the first day of Nano, to have like a long stream thing? Because you said that in passing, and then we never followed up with it. Yeah. So did um, October 1st, is that what we were talking about, or November 1st? What November are we 1st. Because yeah. October is Preptober. Right, right. No, no, no. Did you tell me, though, that Tamara does one on Halloween? Well, okay. So traditionally what Tamara would do is, like, on Halloween, is she would have, like, a very long stream, and it would – I. And we would all be in costume and whatever. But for those of you who don't know, Tamara's moving back to the mainland. Yes. So that's probably not happening. Um, so I don't know if you want to do the thing on Halloween or uh, probably not because that's your guys' day. Yeah. Uh, I want to do it on the first. So let's do it. Let's so do it on the first. Right. Let's put that in the calendar. So my recommendation is that you have some folks with two-hour blocks. Yeah. And then give them all a half hour break between. Are you going to do like an all day thing? Is yes. that what you're talking about? Yes. Oh. We're doing a big nano kickoff stream. 
reach out, you guys. Anybody um, who has a channel who's here tonight. You know what? No, let me let me help you out here. I'm gonna make you a sign up sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, God, I love you so much. All right, we have sorry. triggered the spreadsheet sexual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carol, I heart you. You so stroke much. my organizational. How would you say that? Stroke my organizational triggers. <laughs> Just right. <laughs> yeah, she's producing a spreadsheet. Well, because you were kind of like, hey, say something in the comment section. Then you'd have to go back and find the comment section. I like, would, I'm right? Like, I'm like, I love you. Stop doing that. I know. You'd think I'd learn. You know why? It's because I can't like do that and other stuff at the same time. So I always want to have like a place for it to be. Mm -hmm. Just have to find the appropriate sticker. All right, there's me. Hosting, not co-ghosting. That would be wrong. <laughs> okay. You are on the books. Saturday, October 24th. Lisa Planorama, 8 p.m. Yes. And Thursday, November, uh, October 1st is the third. No, you're talking about November 1st. November 1st, which is a Sunday. Yeah. So I'll have to tell my boss I'm not going to be right babe, but that's fine. Uh, that's what we're looking at here. I make no promises, but I won't be hosting anyway, so. Okay. You can be on some, though, right? Yes, I'll give it a shot. The weekends are crazy for me. Weekends are errand running, so I don't know until the weekend gets here what I have to do on the weekend. Nicole says, I want to do a live stream with you girls. All right. Carol's going to put the link to the uh, <laughs> spreadsheet. All right. Oh, and, and I used to do 5 a.m. Writers Club every day, too. Yeah, not a thing for me anymore. <laughs> it is for me. 5 a.m. I got to get up because most of my people are, uh, like I said, construction people. They have to be at work by 7. So I get up at 5 and do all the morning stuff. Uh, yeah, you know what's so funny, Spence, when my son was a baby, I, like, built my entire, like, I wrote my first book during his nap times, and I, like, did everything else in the middle of the night, so I do feel you on that. Oh, this is Ben, I'm getting hardcore in the zone, yeah, and especially right now, oh my gosh, with so many... People all one place. I love how everybody's like, Carol, spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll do it. Oh, no. DSL lines running through 1990s phone lines. Oh, my gosh. Using my face to make words is hard. All right. That's good. Yay. All right. I could do 5 a.m. if I was in bed by 8. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys are like past my bedtime, no joke. <laughs> right now, <laughs> by now, I would be in bed like, am I going to read or am I going to play that game on my tablet for an hour? Oh, uh, well, we, we, last time we wrapped it up at 10 because we don't want to keep anybody, like, first of all, I want to take up 19 hours on anybody Saturday night. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I got to get, I got to get to bed. I got to get the beauty sleep. I guess I should put like a color on this. Yes. Yeah, favorite. Okay. 
Ah, oh, thank you, Caro. You're so kind. I try. I know. I gotta make up for the times when I'm very blunt with people. <laughs> like when you call them ninnies because they like to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, so that's for night night. Oh, I thought you were calling me a ninny like you, baby. No, no, that was short for night night. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my my end of that conversation ended completely differently than yours. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, night night. What are you talking about? Like night night. Sorry, not ninny. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. No. Calling me out for uh, No, I wouldn't do no. that. No. Yeah, yes, you. I'm like, come on. Yes, you would. <laughs> It, it depends. If you were extra whiny, I would, I don't know. I'd probably <laughs> would have sent me to bed. Yeah, I would have. I would have gone military on you. It's like, do you need me to tuck you in? Do you need a bedtime story? <laughs> <laughs> and then you would have pouted at me and crossed your arms and walked off. And just flopped onto the bed. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, I made the thing to make your life easier. Bless you. you. Got you. Got you. Okay, friends. So here's how this works. I have made a sign-up sheet. All you have to get to do is fill some stuff out. There is a thing that asks for an avatar picture to make everyone's life easier when they have to make thumbnails. So if you don't have yes. one, ready, um, yeah. That's so. good. That's good. All right. Sako says, Spence, come stream with me. Good start to November goal. You planning on doing nano, nano vlogs, nano streams? Five minutes burns. That's how I have to do it. I was so proud because I literally posted videos, I think, for three weeks in a row now. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to work my butt off to, like, get mine up on Monday. We'll see. I think I'm going to do it. I'm trying to be good. I will send this link to you so that way you can have it. Yay. Well, Sarah, I'm super excited about that. That's what we were talking about, how a lot of times people would do like a write-in or whatever. So this is why we're going to do like a big all-day write-in. Yeah. yeah. We had a name for it, Nanathon. I got you. Thank you for the form, Carol. You're welcome. All right, hold on. Can I copy it? Wait, I can if I do it this way. I put it, I sent it to you on Facebook. Oh, bless you. Oh, my playlist stopped playing. No. Yes. How dare you pause? I was listening to that song. Oh, no. Rude. I've been caught. I was listening to music while we were doing this. <laughs> That's okay. I noticed you were jamming out while you were snacking before we even went live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the, so, like, it's not like, so, did anybody play Patapong, like, ever? Did anybody ever play that game? No. Oh, man. Um, so, it was a game for, um, like, the portable uh, PlayStation, and it was a rhythm-based game. And so you would sit there and push these buttons at the same time as the music to like do certain attacks and stuff. And I would play that. And every now and then, like I'd be in like the kitchen doing something going, pata, 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 pong, 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 pata. <laughs> <laughs> so I was listening to that. So I was like, pong, pong, pata. <laughs> it's really addictive. At least it was for me. Ugh. So this uh, planner takes effect tomorrow. <laughs> um, help me. Uh, I gotta post my blog. I gotta post that video. Oh, random tip. Don't forget, you guys, if you buy planners or stickers that go in your planners or spreads on Etsy, you can rent that stuff off on your taxes. 
because that actually works for your if you if you're using it to track your word counts and you're an author it counts as office supplies for your job mm -hmm. it does here i'll give you guys my very best organizing secret are you ready go here it is there is a free app right here called expensify Ooh. and what yeah it's awesome so here's what it does you take when you have your receipt for whatever you just snap a quick picture of it you can put it into a report so if you wanted to separate your expenses into like for carol if she wanted raptor expenses general author expenses and you know something else like for like say she was still teaching teacher expenses, she could do that or you can just dump them all into one expense report and you can have them in different categories. And I always set up my categories to match the categories that you would write off on your taxes. And so like I know what I, for my phone, I know like all, anything, anytime, like not now obviously, because we don't go in, but if I ever take anybody to lunch, you know, for a writing thing, or if you're working in a bookshop all day and having lunch there, you know, you're writing all day. Um, and any, you know, stationary supplies, pens, printers, bookmarks, whatever stuff you get for your, um, for your author promotion, your web expenses, all that stuff. It's super easy to track in this. And if you use like the same like credit card every time, you can actually get it to pull in the expenses for you if you want, or you can mm -hmm. just put them in. And at the end of the tax year, you just it just makes a little report and you, and it saves a PDF of every one of those expenses of like all the little receipts. So you don't have to keep them or organize them. They're all magically in here. And I have been using this thing for like 10 years and it's free and I love it. That's way better. I than am my, uh, totally getting that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awesome. They have I, like a, yeah. I tell every writer I know because it's like so helpful. And since you do freelance, you could do, if you wanted, you could break them out by client. If you wanted to bill client, like, I don't know how you're billing your clients, but if you were billing them for um, expenses, you could do that. Or if you just want to break it out on your own to know how much you, um, you spent on each one. But mileage, it does your mileage. I mean, it's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Expensify. I am totally going to look that up because I keep, I did my, I, I keep like a three layer system. <laughs> I have, uh, that way I don't forget anything because like, mm -hmm. like when Sky and I go out, we will inevitably find our way to office max. Sure. And so <laughs> I wasn't planning on that expense and sometimes I'll lose my receipt. Right. But, um, so that because, sounds great because that's the one thing yeah, I don't have. Yeah, step it right there. Yeah, and it'll it'll I'm even totally stuck in the that. information. But like I have can, I have a spreadsheet. Go ahead, sorry. Oh no, oh I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep interrupting. I was just gonna say you, you take the picture and either you can enter the information and have like the spreadsheet as backup, or it'll just read it off of that. Like so, it you can just take the picture. And by the time you go in to enter the, you know, whatever report you wanted to go in or whatever, you can, it'll have already read that it was $12.98 and it's Office Max. And it'll assume because it's Office Max that it's, you know, office supplies or whatever you want to um, make the rule for. I mean, it, it does so many things. And yet it's super easy to use. You can make it a lot smarter or just really simple. And it's just like incredible. It makes tax time so easy. That I'm definitely going to look into that. Yeah. Spence says, I'm thinking about of doing daily Inktober videos. I did that in 2018 and really liked it. That sounds super cool. That sounds really cool. And they don't involve my face, but can be practiced for using the voice part of talking. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I've just realized that I really stack up my Mondays lately. Been doing what on Monday? 
I'm just stacking it. Like, I just end up, like, anytime I have, like, a call, I think because I, like, want to get it over with. Because I like to just get things taken care of. So I end up like working my butt off all day on Monday. Yeah, I uh, I do the same thing. I'm kind of like I always front load the week with stuff that needs to get done. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Ranger, I'm glad you said something because I actually do have a call on Monday at nine. Do you? <laughs> Look at that. You bonehead. What are you doing? What are you doing? You needy boy. Needy boy. So last time when we met, um, you had asked me about markers, right? And I've been like, I don't do markers because they bleed. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like markers that bleed through my paper. And then oh. since then, I actually found markers that don't bleed through the paper. All right, you get? hold on. It will zoom. Wait, hold on. I'm going to make it big. Oh, those are cool. Oh, yeah. Stedlers. I have a set of Stedlers, and I love them. They don't bleed through the paper. Yeah. That is super cool. I got them at Hobby Lobby, and they're expensive. They're like thirty dollars for a twenty for a twenty marker set. Oh, okay. But I, was finally, like, I was like, I didn't pay that much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, but um, Hobby Lobby does that forty percent off any one regular priced item, right. so you basically get them for like sixteen bucks, and uh, or like eighteen bucks. And I highly recommend them. I love them, and I've had them for years, and all the colors still work, even though I use really. Them yeah, I've had them for like three or four years. And even the black, which I use all the time, it's still it's still going. It still works. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the yellow is not, even after all these years of like crossing it over the other ink colors, the yellow tip is still yellow. Really? It's not, it hasn't absorbed all of the other inks, you know, and you you know how yellow markers can be. I do, I know it. Yeah, they pick up the other colors so easily. They're really good. And this is one of the ones that like, um, let me see. I've got them right here. They have the dry safe technology where they can be left uncapped for days without drying up. Yeah, they're fancy and I love them and I highly recommend them. 2005. So I've had them for five years now. What is that voodoo magic? <laughs> and they're 0.3 and they're 0.3 millimeters. So any of you who like really fine, fine point markers, Stedlers. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. Jesse's here. Hey, Jesse. So nice to see you. I think you're, this is your first time at the Boozy Planorama stream. Mm -hmm. What video editor do you use? I'm not sure who this is directed to. Um, <laughs> so I'll tell you, I use iMovie. Carol, what do you use? Filmora. Awesome. Awesome. How about how about you? How about you, Amy? <laughs> I use um. What was it you guys said again? Feel more and I'm with me. Um. I think it's because Spence was gonna do Inktober videos. My guess is that that question was directed to Spence. So Spence, what are you doing? Or rather, what software do you use? Yes. Exactly. That's what I meant. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Good job. Yes. I tell you that app. Oh my gosh. Expensify. Love, 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 love. All right. And then says Monday's the day I schedule no writing because we don't have Monday school. I use colored ballpoint pens because I wear markers when I try to write with them. I use these, which are which I got for like, I don't know, eight or nine dollars from um, Amazon. And they're literally called I Buy Em, which is like the cheesiest name. Ever. Like I Buy Em markers. 
So, but I really like them. They um, they come in really bright, pretty colors. They last for a long time. So, so far, so good. Before Tamara. we get too far on the topic, is that Expensify app, like, is it still, do you find it still useful now, even though you're not going out as much? Like, your receipts, I use it for, like. Oh, yeah. No, if I order supplies, it goes in expense. I literally put everything in it because I used to have. What my about the order online? Can you get that in there, yeah. too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thing. I, when, anytime I order any, anytime I order stickers for my, you know, planner, I'll take a little snapshot of just like right as it's on the screen. Yeah, it's it just keeps it all in one place. It adds it all up for you when you have your um, category. And I don't do a ton of categories um, when I do my taxes. I do, I don't know, like six or seven, just to kind of keep things simple. It doesn't really matter as long as everything goes somewhere. And um, yeah, so I do I that. Just, yeah, that, well, I mean, I have like, I have like web have and internet stuff. Yeah, so yeah. Say, you have a much more complicated uh, just business than I do right now. I have my, my, my expenses, which is basically office supplies. And then right. I have my client expenses, which is like sometimes, you know, a client wants a bigger, a site map for a bigger website and I have to pay to get the site map and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, kind of like just my, uh, what did you call them, Carol? Professional development expenses. Yeah. Where I write yeah. all of my yeah. courses yeah. and any material that goes with it. And right. I haven't tried it yet. This is my first year, but I'm going to try and see if I can get my um, Amazon uh, Kindle Unlimited written off because I work for four publishers now. So why? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I write off any craft books, any web books. Yeah. I mean, any yeah, anything business related at all. I write off my um, my. You know, Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say my aunt's an accountant and my, um, and her wife is a financial planner. So they're like, like early on when I started, you can write off this, you can write off this, you can write off this, you can write off this. So I have literally been using that same blueprint for my entire career. I need you to send me that blueprint. I'm still in the baby <laughs> stage with my stuff. Okay, <laughs> will do. Will do. Basically, if you need it for work and you're not using it for your personal stuff, or you're mostly using it for work, and you can divide out how much of it you're using, like, okay, I'm using the seventy percent for work and thirty percent for personal. Like right now, everybody has to have internet. You know, everybody who's working from home has to have internet use for home, and so mm -hmm. like Isn't like fifteen percent now or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You'd be tempted to just go like, oh, well, I watch movies on it. But that's how that is the entire way that I work. And so part of that is, um, you know, part of that I take off on my taxes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. Everybody says welcome back to Mara. I know she's just packing. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're so sweet. I hope the packing is going well. Ben says, I use, I'm, I also use iMovie. It's just hard because I'm allergic to myself. It's hard. You know what? The more you do it, the, it's like anything. The more you do it, the more you get used to it, the easier it gets. Quiet Adventurer just made a list of books to write in my new bullet journal. And I'm like. Yay. I actually did the reverse. I write a list of books I have read. Uh, let me find it. Not that I'm yeah. Or anything, but she's doing books to she's doing books she's going to write. Oh, she's write. gonna write? Yes. What? Oh, okay. Wow. Sis. Love that. I thought you meant read. Uh uh. Write. Oh man, that's a reality brick right there. I feel mm -hmm. for you. Yes. Nothing wrong with I'm I love it. I mean, for my purposes, I iMovie works just great. I maybe will at some point upgrade to something more complicated, but for now it works just fine. I, I like film more because it's 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 dumbed down enough that I can do it. I am not a movie editor at all. <laughs> so I I feel like well everybody in my house uses like what's the other one? Um shoot. Adobe's um 
I can't think of it. <sighs> I can't remember. Anyway, whatever the big, like, fancy Adobe one is. Uh, Pro Tools and something else. Anyway, uh, that to me, that feels too complicated. iMovie seems simple there. All right, iMovie is great. I always use that for travel videos. Everybody's saying hi to Tamara. I feel that. I did that with the one to heavy edit. It's over when it's on one place that you can do it. Make a plan. Yes. Yes. All right. Jesse said, my question was inspired from Spence's comment. It meant towards anyone. My cat jumped me. So I don't feel like cool. All right. How long did you want to do today's planner thingy? Because last time we did it for two hours. We are doing it for two hours and it's 955. So let's go ahead and say thank you to everybody for being here tonight and um, and say our goodbyes and our little outros. What do you guys think? That sounds great. It does sound great, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. You got, oh, look. So MM says, internet work from home and school is $120, $120 a month expensive claim. Yep. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Adobe Premiere. Thank you, Socko. Good Lord. I could not think of that. All right, you guys. We are going to wrap this up. Thank you so much to everybody for coming out for the second boozy planorama. And as Carol said, we will do the next one on Saturday, October 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Carol, will you tell the fine people who you are before we go? Yes, I will. Hi, my name is Carol Brown. I'm a fancy author, and I did some planning uh, for myself and for my business, and I'm about to throw in a link to the spreadsheet if anybody wants, not the spreadsheet, the form if anyone would like to take part in the NaNoWriMo write-a-thon that is going to be happening on November 1st. That's a Sunday. Um and I got a lot done. I wanted to get more done, but I actually really enjoyed sitting and hanging out. So thanks for having me, Lisa. Thanks for coming. Thanks for co-hosting as always. I know. And thanks for making me get some planning done instead of just gabbing away. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Amy, tell us all about you. Uh, hello. I am Amy Awesome Buddy, AKA the Gremlin Mancer. Um, I am an SEO consultant, talked a little bit about my client notebook. I, I'm going to take some pictures of my notebooks and the next time I can at least screen share my goodies, right? even though I don't show my face. So, um, yeah, I had fun. Thank you. I managed to eat the entire tub of cookie dough. So <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Thank you. I will put the um, the link to the Google form in the um, description after the um, after the stream is over too. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Eva. Thank you, Sako. Everybody, you guys are totally awesome. I am Lisa Daly. Thank you to my awesome co-host today. Um, this is my channel. If you want to write a book you're super proud of and get it published, and this is a good place to start. So thanks so much for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time. We will all see you next time. Bye. 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 Maybe we should do cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers.